Okay. I noticed today this thing was slanted. <laughs> and I look up and it's broken through the ceiling. So we're going to have to take this down and repair the ceiling. I think I'm going to just put uh, go between the beams and uh, put a uh, piece of plywood between the two beams and put it back up. Oh. Oh. I broke the screwdriver clean off. It's a Stanley. Hopefully it's got a warranty. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh, 
Greasy. Oregon. I think we're kind of getting it. Amazing what a little lubricant will do. Screwdriver's in the way. Alright. Yeah, you gotta get the screwdriver out to continue on. <laughs> Button up against the bottom of the screwdriver. Yeah, this is spinning nicely now. Right, look at the hole I put in the yeah. Seems like I'm going pretty far, but you have to because clear out everything. Now I know what the holes in the ceiling are. Yeah. If you ever see what a holes in the ceiling, you'll know why. Bottom down. 
the other piece of the screwdriver I broke. So, that is that. Alright. Now the next step is how are we gonna fix the hole in the ceiling? I think what I might do is just put a piece of plywood over top and paint it white for now. And then later on I'll come back and fix the uh, drywall. But if I put the pole back up, it's gonna do that again. So the best thing to do, you can repair it, <clears throat> but if I repair it and then put a board across it, pretty good chance I'm gonna to have to repair it again if I take it down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a board across the beams, plywood, screw it back, and then uh, put the pole back up for a quick fix. So I'll take some more video of that when, uh, when that happens. Thanks for watching. Some repairs, some wood, and some paint. Ah!